Hey guys, I'm back with another drawing video and this time I'm showing you how to draw autumn things. So I have been embracing anything and everything autumn related and I thought it would be so fun to do some cute little autumn doodles. So that's what I'm doing today. And these are my supplies. If you're interested, I will have them linked down below. The first thing I'm going to show you how to draw is this maple leaf. So to begin, you're going to draw an upside down U shape and then lightly sketch out a general outline of the leaf. This doesn't have to be perfect, this will just help when we go back in with the details so you know kind of the general shape of the leaf. Now you can start adding the details to your leaf and I just kind of went in and made the edges a little bit jagged and made it look like a maple leaf. Then you can add the stem and start adding some of the details to the leaf like the veins and little wrinkles or tears. Once you're happy with the pencil drawing you did, then you can go in and start inking your leaf. And like I always say, this doesn't need to be perfect. And actually, the more imperfect it is, the more realistic it will look because you're never going to find a perfect leaf in nature. And you can see here, I added some darkened lines around the edges and just some random lines along the leaf to look like shadows or tears. I had to include one more leaf in this tutorial, so now we're going to do an oak leaf. To begin, you're going to start by drawing this curved shape for the bottom, and then lightly draw the outline of the leaf just like we did last time. Once you have the shape outlined, you can go in and add the finer details, and just make it a little bit more squiggly, add some indents and tears, things like that just to make it look like a leaf. And you could leave it just like that, but I wanted to make it a little bit more distinguishable as an oak leaf, so I added some acorns. And these are super easy to draw, so just follow along what I'm doing here. After you're done with your sketch, then you can go in with your pen. So to give the acorns a bit more texture, I drew a bunch of tiny circles for the cap, and then I drew some lines to show the dimension in the acorn body. And then just like the last leaf, I did a bunch of little lines or darkened shadows to show the folds and tears of the leaf. No autumn video would be complete without a pumpkin, so that's exactly what I'm going to show you here. You're going to start out with this oval shape and then draw a tiny oval at the top. Now you're going to add the segments of the pumpkin, and to do this, you're going to bring the lines outside of the oval shape to show the roundness of the segments, if that makes sense. I spend too much time, now I think out loud, I won't be falling on my knees to beg you. And now you're ready to go in with your pen. So you can just trace the outline of the pumpkin, and I thought it looked really good like that, but I wanted to add a bit more dimension to this. So I darkened the lines that separated the segments of the pumpkin and then added some more lines to show a little bit more texture. Years after years we found now I'm going to show you how to draw some mushrooms. And these aren't necessarily just a fall thing, but I thought they looked really good with the rest of the drawings that I did, so that's why I decided to add them. And the actual mushroom shape is really simple to draw, so just copy what I'm doing here. And then you can make your mushrooms unique by adding spots or speckles or stripes or really anything you want. You can make them as realistic or as unrealistic as you want, they look good either way. 
The next drawing is this little basket of apples. So to get started, draw a short cylinder shape and draw two rectangles going horizontal and some lines up and down and this shows the wood making up the basket. And then add some circles for the apples. And if you're having a hard time seeing the pencil drawing, when I go in with the pen you'll be able to see me draw the shapes a little bit easier. So here I'm just adding a few more details like the stems of the apples and the nails and the pieces of wood. I'm ashamed of certain things I've done. But out of all the to make the wood look a bit more realistic, I darkened the lines between the pieces of wood and then I did some light sketchy lines to show the texture of the wood. And now to make the apples look realistic, you're going to do the same idea of the lines to show the shadows and the highlights. And this just makes it look a bit more three-dimensional instead of just drawing a round circle for the outline. I'm afraid I might have given the next drawing is this old-fashioned camping lantern. And to start out, you're going to draw a cylinder shape. Then add the base of the lantern by following what I'm doing here. You're going to make a similar shape for the top of the lantern and then add a little loop at the top for a tiny handle. Then add two handles coming out of the sides of the lantern. And finally draw two wires crisscrossing across the middle. This cold and misty world would you be my little light just for atmosphere I don't need it to see by I know that you can promise me your whole heart if you're honest dear but 51% would be just fine every time I count my blessings I count you Next is this little tiny cup of coffee. This probably doesn't need much of an explanation. I'm sure you guys already know how to draw a coffee mug. But just follow along here if you want to do the same thing that I'm doing. And I decorated the front of my mug with a little drawing of mountains and the word explore. I wanted my mug to look like one of those metal camp mugs. So when I was drawing it with a pen, I added some speckles and dots to give it that texture. Another simple but very fallish drawing are these stems of wheat. And again, this probably doesn't really need an explanation. You can just follow along what I'm doing here to draw these little wheat stems. I love these because they're so easy to draw and they also look really pretty just as decorative elements to your journal pages or bullet journal or planner or whatever you want to add them to. And to finish this tutorial off, I'm going to show you how to draw this little pine cone. We will begin the same way as before, just with a general outline of the pine cone shape. And then you can go in and start adding the details. So you're going to draw these kind of flattened, squiggly blob shapes. You'll be able to see better what I'm talking about when I start drawing with pen. And just draw these tapering up to the top of the pine cone. And then when you trace over them with the pen, leave them mostly white, and then you'll shade in in between these shapes to show the depth and dimension of the pine cone. Hopefully this made sense, but just follow along what I'm doing to figure out how to draw it. I... 
I had so much fun doing all of these little autumn drawings and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I wanted to offer these drawings to you guys as a free printable. So I put them all together as a print and I'll have it linked down below if you want to download it. You can use this in your journal, you could cut them out and use them as stickers or even just tape this onto your wall, whatever you want to do. I hope you enjoy this and I hope you're having a great day. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!